Yeah, that's good. That's where we want to be. We always like being in about that first 20 stack that gives us uh, gives us people around us where we, we love racing with, we want to pace off of, and it gives us a chance to hopefully stay out of a little bit of the mess. But no, that's yeah, hopefully we can hold on to uh, somewhere in that top 10, 12 would be nice. Okay, well, thank you, Andrew. Good luck for the main race, and we look forward to seeing you on Friday. Cool. Thanks. Thanks, everybody, for coming out. Thanks, man. Bailey Campbell hot on course. Looking good. Looking good. Terry Madden hurt his back at National League back in the... So Bailey Campbell, an ARB sponsored vehicle, heading into the ARB 40 spine speed section. And Bailey Campbell looking really fast now. She heads out to go around the back of the mountain. And normally Terry Madden is co-driving for her, but his back's still a little tender, so he's gonna do just the UTVs. So tough break on that, but uh, Bailey Campbell's in the rocks and that straight axle machine really, really works. And still the battle continues between solid axle cars and IFS cars. As we watch her come on down through the rocks, really nice flow, nice and steady, smooth but fast. Does a great little front nose stand on that GL section, but uh, Made it work. Sounds like Bailey got up to 58 miles an hour in the ARB 40 spline speed section. And as we watch for Bailey Campbell to bring it on home, Gary Farafanti Sr. is starting his monster. Which is what Bailey's coming into Hammertown. Looks like unofficially a 201.8. Jesse Combs in a bomber chassis driving for Savvy Off-Road. Cool to see her step up a, a class. Yeah, been racing against Jesse for many years now, but she's stepping up into that 4400 class. She's often done 4400 style racing, but usually in stock class vehicles or in spec class vehicles. And she's off. She's also going to be racing in the Pro Comp 4600 stock class, so that'll be a pre-run for the e Smittybeale Everyman Challenge on Thursday. But right now, Jesse Combs in that bomber chassis really making a, a good run. And Jesse Combs just takes a little tumble in the short class. She was really pushing hard. So tough break for Jesse Combs. She's upside down. We'll get our Hammer King crew out there, get her riding. Dean Nitto, King of the Hammers. We're right in the middle of Power Hour. Myself, Miles Hasquist, Jim Martin. It's been a great day. We have Chris from KMC Wheels for the Hard Charger Award. It's still Paul Horschel. So top 10 is uh, number 10, Andrew McLaughlin with a 158. And then ninth is one of our LCQ guys, Mike Bergman with a 157.92. So on course, that's going to be Derek West, 44-20. Hot on course, looking good in this Jimmy chassis. <laughs> Fantastic to see. Our oh, course marshals are cleared. Jesse Combs off the course. And now it's Derek West out there giving it absolutely everything. And Derek came to Europe this year to try his hand in Bailey Cole Spec Class car. He got so keep wet. But he had a great time. And he's one of our top, I mean, he's always been top 10, probably one of the most competitive guys out there. He knows the rock so well, but look at that Jimmy's chassis bouncing through the desert in that ARB 40 high speed section. Yeah, he's Mr. Reliable at King of the Hammers. Always used to making those top 10 positions. He's been racing a lot. He's been racing for a long time, back in the XRRA days, transferred over, to, over into Ultra 4. Derek West is always a fun one to watch, a crowd favorite. Fairly local to me out of Springfield, Missouri. Sounds like he got up to 69 miles an hour in the ARB 40 spline speed section, so that's smoking through there. Bouncing through that little G-out section, Derek West is looking fast. Solid axle car again. And look, it's super smooth and super fast as he comes around to the mountain.
Derek West heading up towards the Jeep Arch? This is quick, Miles. This is very quick. I've been looking at the clock. If you can be right around that 145 mark in the Jeep Arch, you're doing good. And he beat that by a couple seconds. So Derek West is throwing down a smoke and run. Looks like unofficially Derek West should be right around a 155.05. Derek West throwing down a great, great run in that straight axle Jimmy car. Next is going to be the 44.83 Raul Gomez running a UFO machine. Off the line, we have Raul Gomez, Gomez Brothers Racing. All three brothers are going to be racing on Friday. Clay, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing wonderful. Laid down a smooth, clean run. It's not the fastest, but uh, the car is still together. Didn't hurt it at all. And uh, what is it, like a 150, I'll take it all day. Well, mate, I can tell you, you're actually currently sitting in second overall. How does that make you feel? Oh, hell, that's even better. But now you were telling me earlier this week that you put the small engine in. So what would you have done with the big engine? Probably got myself in trouble. <laughs> well, great work, my friend. We look forward to seeing you on the start line on Friday. Hell yeah, me too. Thanks, everybody, for coming out and all the volunteers who've been out here for weeks putting this course together. It's awesome. It's going to be the hardest one yet. Great stuff. Thank you very much to Clay Kielstrap. Raul Gomez still pushing hard in that UFO single seat IFS machine in that rock section. I was talking to him earlier today. He was watching the pre-run or qualifying earlier today and in this rock section he was really picking it apart he was worried about getting beat up and he made a pretty smooth run through there and he did say he's going to be pushing 100 percent he's either starting towards the front or in the back raul gomez got up to 68 miles an hour in the 40 spline arv speed section so he's definitely pushing hard a nitto driver Always great to see a Gomez brother on track. I was chatting to them earlier this week. Rao, Marcus, and JP, they've got a game plan, Miles. They're going to team up out there, and if any of them get in trouble, they're going to help each other change their wheels and do all that kind of stuff. Can you see that happening? I can't. It's a great game plan to have, but with the race helmet on, you know those guys. They're a good time. They're a bunch of maniacs. They're fun to watch. They're going to be pushing hard. It's going to be a, it's going to be a great day of racing for the 2018 Nitto King of the Hammers. Sounds like a 153 for Raul Gomez, so another great, great run. I love watching the Gomez brothers racing, and Raul just absolutely nails it. Unofficially, Raul Gomez, seventh place. Up next is the four-wheel parts himself, Greg Adler. He's going to do a little share driving with Rob McCachron. Cool to see him bring him out here. Love the crossover drivers. Greg Adler's been with us since the very beginning. He's one of our main sponsors. It's great to have him out here helping us. And he is hot on course, four wheel parts. Greg Adler, this car's been around. That car just raced the Baja 1000. They said it took a pretty good beating, but they were able to get it prepped up and uh, look at it flying through here and hammer down. Okay, and I'm joined on stage now with Raul Gomez. Raul, how we doing? Doing great, how are you guys doing out there? We're loving it, mate. We always love watching your car out on track. How do you think you did? I did okay, I was just uh, kind of like 75, 80%. Didn't want to give it break the car today. Gonna race up ready. Well, I can tell you, mate, you're currently sitting in seventh position. Is that okay? That's perfect. Now, you were telling me earlier this week that you were thinking about, you know, teaming up with your brothers out there on track just in case you get in trouble. Is that really gonna happen? I guess we'll have to see you have to wait till Friday to check that out. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Good luck on Friday, and we'll see you on the start line. All right, thanks, Jim. Greg Adler, Mr. Four Wheel Parts, looking fast, looking smooth in that IFS machine. That car's been around quite a while. Greg Agler is absolutely flying there out on course. It's power hour here at the 2018 Nitto King of the Hammers. Power box to my batteries. Greg Adler got up to 71 miles an hour in the ARB speed section. And he's got the fastest time up the hill so far. So let's see what he can do as he comes on through the Jeep section, down the hill, wheels in the air, one jump, 
one corner between him and a possible pole position. Greg Adler's pushing the limits all the way to the finish line. Greg Adler, unofficially, Jim, what's it looking like? It's a 14854. It's a fantastic time. Only a couple of seconds off our current KMC hard charger, Paul Herschel. Point, he's going to be pushing hard for this. Power hour. Qualifying run. Again, we are right in the middle of the 2018 Nitto King of the Hammers, powered by Optima Battery. We got qualifying, we got power hour. This is a lot of fun, a lot of fast guys. Levi's pushing hard out there. Levi came second in the boys' championship this year, and won two races last year, sorry. So far, so talented for such a young man. It's great to see him. But let's have a word with this young man. Justin, how you doing? Doing good. How do you feel out there on track? It's uh, tore up a bunch in the corners. Yeah, it's looking really, really nasty out there. So is the solid axle car going to be really good for you in this race? Uh, I hope so. I mean, it's going to be a long race tomorrow. We went and pre-ran uh, almost all the rock trails, all the desert. Um, it, it, it's a crapshoot. I mean, anything can happen. We're trying to prep the car as good as we can. We just had to put a transfer case in it this morning. We ran around trying to do that. So. I think we got a good solid car. Everything's been going great this week so far, and uh, we're just happy to be here and very thankful for all our sponsors. Well, it's fantastic to see you here, mate. We look forward to seeing you on the start line of the 2018 Nitto King of the Hammers. Thank you, sir. Levi Shirley hot on course. Just got up to 66 miles an hour in the ARB 40s flying speed section. We saw that little G out section a little, hit a little bit hard. Donkey kicked in the rear, but he was able to keep it going. Coming down to the Jeep arch. He's got a smoking run. This is going to be pushing towards the top. We'll see if he can get that pole position or not. Levi Shirley with a great run going. Uh, this is looking fantastic for Levi here. Can't wait to hear this time. It was a fast time. What do we got for Mr. Levi Shirley? One, four, eight, nine, three, unofficially third place. Levi Shirley out of Dodge City, Kansas. And here comes our historical fastest qualifier of all time in Ultra Four. It is Jason Shearer sitting on the line as Levi Shirley makes his way onto stage. Jason Shear, he's going to be pushing for that KMC Hard Charger Award. Jason Shear probably has the most pole positions in Ultra Four history. This guy is not afraid to push the limits in qualifying. Well, I'm joined on stage now by none other than Levi Shirley. Levi, how are we doing? I'm doing a lot better now that my car runs. <laughs> so what's it like out there? It looks like the course is getting really cut up. Uh, the course is ridiculous. You know, from where we pre ran this morning to where it is now, the lines have totally changed. So that's kind of what's cool about Ultra Four Racing. You kind of have to adapt. You're not going to have like a set course. You know, we're not we're not groom. We're not pansies. We 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 race with what we're dealt with. Now, have you got any? Uh, you know, this race is going to be very different this year. You're in a single seat car, and what happens if you got a puncture this year? There's no tire balls. Have you planned for this? I'm not worried about. It. I got max tires. I like that answer, my friend. Good work. Right, well, good luck, Levi. We look forward to seeing you on the start line on Friday. Cool. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone, for your support. Great stuff. Levi Shirley, everyone. Jason Shear still hot on course. Had a little bit of a hiccup in the rock section. That'll cost him a second or two. But he will definitely be pushing all the way through to the end. Sounds like he got up to 71 miles an hour in the ARB 40 spline speed section. So Jason Shear pushing the limits all the way into Hammertown. Heading into the Jeep Arch as we speak. Jim, as he's watching Jason good. Shearer here. He's taking all kinds of funky lines, trying to save a second. Two wheels as he comes through the Jeep Arch. Amazing stuff here. Jason Shear is smoking. He always wants that KMC hard charger award. Number 76, Jason Shearer with an unofficial time of 14723. So just under a second, unofficially second place. Holy cow, Jason Shearer's pushing to the limits, but Paul Horschel still has it with a 146.41. I will get him on stage, but our current KMC hard charger is still Paul Herschel, but we still got some more big guns to come yet. We still got Lauren Healy, Shannon Campbell, 
and Eric Miller. But look, we do have Lauren Healy in the Red Dragon. He did have a brand new car built, but had some motor issues. So uh, we'll see what kind of time former King Lauren Healy, number 67, Nitto Tire sponsored machine. Now, Lauren Healy wasn't expecting to be driving this car this week. They built a brand spanking new IFS car, two seater, big engine, all of the toys. Unfortunately, the motor went bang, so he's back in Red Dragon. Now, Red Dragon hasn't historically been that great at King of the Hammers, but it's won everything else. What do you think his chances are, Miles? Well, it depends on his driving style. He is fast, we know that. He's had some bad runs here lately, but he is a two-time king, so if he has a perfect day, it could be very possible on the top of the box. We'll have to see. But that Jimmy Chassis, Red Dragon, really looking smooth through that ARB 40 spline section. But Lauren Healy still looking smooth out there, hitting that rock section. Okay, well, Jason's car, Jason Shearer's car has joined us on stage. Unfortunately, Jason hasn't. He's literally finished his qualifying, jumped out of his car, jumped in another car, and flying to the airport to go and pick up his wife. Now that's commitment. And Lauren Healy in the 40 spline ARB section got up to 73 miles an hour, so he's definitely pushing the Red Dragon to the limits in that MBRP sponsored machine. Love watching Lauren Healy drive. He's so committed. No quarter given in any corner. And he's he got a blistering fast his way speed towards the Jeep arch. Oh, two wheels once again as he makes his way down. Fantastic stuff here from the big guy. Absolutely launching that tabletop, flat landing it. Lauren Healy pushing it all the way to the end. Looks like Lauren Healy's going to have an unofficial time of... One, four, eight, four, six. So a great, great run. Unofficially third place, Lauren Healy in the Red Dragon in his Jimmy's machine. But up next, Randy Sloss and another former King Power Hour. Holy cow, Jim, this is great. Randy, of course, a two-time King. He, we saw his brother qualify earlier. His brother put down a blistering time in the LCQ. Let's see what Randy can do. I'm sure he would like to beat Mike. And this year is a lot longer with a lot more rock trails. So historically, Randy Slauson does great on these kind of races. So he's uh, he's excited to put that bomber chassis hopefully on the podium. Looks like Lauren Healy's pulling up on stage. Randy Slauson still on the infield, pushing hard. I'll join on stage now by none other than Lauren Healy. Lauren, how you doing? I'm good now that we qualified and uh, should be able to hold on to a top 10 for sure, so I'm happy. Fantastic. Well, you look really fast out there, but this wasn't the car I was expected to see you in. What's been happening? Um, well, I, I would say there was a good chance this was the car you were going to see me in. Uh, new car, standard new car blues, KOH, lots of timing gear, so uh, we're racing the try and true things here. Wow, mate. Now it's Going back to a single seat, we've got no tire balls this year. Have you got a strategy for what happens if you get a puncher out there? I've got the best tires out there, so I'm not worried about it. Now, that's a, again fighting talk. We heard the same from Lee by Shirley, so we wish you all the very best. Your second place provisionally. How does that make you feel? I'm second right now. Uh, yeah, um, there's still fast guys to go, so you know that'd be awesome if I could hang on to that one, hang Jason. Uh, but you know. My, my goal is always to be in the top 10. If, I can, uh, if I'm up in the top five rows, then I'm, I'm always happy with qualifying. Fantastic. Well, we wish you luck, Lauren Healy, and we look forward to seeing you on Friday afternoon. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everybody, for coming. Great run, Lauren Healy. And it sounds like Randy Slauson got up to 72 miles an hour in the ARB 40 spline speed section. So he's got a great, great run to go on that solid axle bomber chassis. Looks like unofficially Randy Slauson is going to have a time of 15017. So a great, great run out of that solid axle. Up next is number 21, former king. Number 21, Eric Miller. Sounds like Randy Slauson was in sixth place unofficially. So a great run in that solid axle bomber machine and Eric Miller is off 
And that brand new car of his, looking great, Miller Motorsports, running those Nitto tires. Another solid axle guy running out front. We'll see what kind of time he can throw down, Jim. Eric Miller looking blisteringly fast in this brand new car. Basically exactly the same as last year's car, just all shiny and new. It's amazing how he can just jump from one car to the other and still be blisteringly fast as he makes his way up towards the ARB 40 spine speed trap. But so far, Paul Horschel still has that KMC Hard Charger Award, and he was not in power hour, so it still shows all these guys are fast. We've only got a few runners left, and Paul Herschel is still our KMC Hard Charger with a 146.94, as we wait for Randy Slauson to join us on stage. Eric Miller still pushing hard in that rock section. He loves the solid axle. He said he's never going away from that, and he's really making it work good. Hitting the little G-out section, getting a little bit of air time. He got up to 66 miles an hour in the ARB 40s blind speed section. So Eric's still pushing hard all the way to the end. We've had a great run during power hour. It's been fun. It's been fast. It's shaking things up. Eric Miller heading into the Jeep Arch, coming on down into Hammer Time. Okay, well I'm joined on stage now by two-time king, Randy Slauson. Randy, how is it out there? It's pretty rough. Um, <clears throat> we, Josh so it looks and I like Eric hooked up the NOS on this thing, so <clears throat> I wanted to see if we could squeeze a few extra ponies out of it. And the first three times I went wide open throttle, it just bobbled and cut out. Uh, then towards the end, it finally cleared up and actually was doing work. But um, <clears throat> anyway, that was a little bit unnerving. But uh, car worked great. Shock tune is amazing. Love these BFG tires. Um, <clears throat> definitely got us up that hill and around the mountain uh, pretty timely. Well, I can tell you, you beat your brother Mike by two seconds and you're currently in sixth place. How's that? Not bad. I wanted to be top ten, so that puts me right in the running. Fantastic. Well, good luck for Friday, and we look forward to seeing you on the start line. Thanks so much. Great run, Randy Slauson, but hot on course. We have none other of last year's series championship, Waylon Campbell and that Monster Energy Nitto powered machine. Running his dad's old single C IFS car. They've been busy this week they're racing all three cars in the big race for the 2018 nitto king of the hammers powered by optima batteries but they'll also be running in the can-am utv race tomorrow gonna be a busy fun week for the campbell crew wayland is absolutely flying out there he really came into his own in 2017 as we're joined on stage now by eric miller section looking smooth looking fast he got up to 68 miles an hour in the ARB 40s flying speed section Waylon Campbell off to a great start I got to an old stage now by Eric Miller Eric how did it go out there with the new car pretty good run I mean we've only got maybe 100 miles on this car we still have some stuff to do to even make it race I mean that's how new it is we built it in three weeks again this uh, this January so straight out of the box you know, without much setup at all, I spent 10 minutes with Wayne yesterday. The thing was pretty, pretty awesome. So I'm pretty stoked on our time and uh, I'm proud to be consistent here today. Well, you're in the top 10. You've got ninth place. Are you going to be happy with that? Yeah, that's perfect. We were joking. I do better when I start in the back anyway. <laughs> well, we look forward to seeing you on Friday. Good luck and we'll see you on the start line. Thanks, Jim. Looks like Waylon Campbell has a 15216 unofficially 10th spot. Waylon Campbell, top 10, rounding it out for now. Up next is gonna be his dad, Shannon Campbell, the only three-time Nitto King of the Hammers champion. He took a little tumble during free running and they've been working on that thing all day. It's a little tweaked in the back, but they got everything put together. They've been thrashing on it. Shannon Campbell is not one to let out. 
Here's the amazing thing about Ultra Four Cars as we watch Shannon Campbell, three-time king, launching for the line, closing this power hour. Can he beat Paul Herschel? Look at the commitment there as he works his way into the first bend. Paul Herschel, of course, our KMC hard judge currently with a 146.94. But this is Shannon Campbell. If anyone can pull a miracle out of the bag, it's Shannon. And again, Shannon Campbell's our only three-time king. So we'll see if he can be a three, or a, do it again for his fourth time, back to back. Last year it was Shannon Campbell one, Waylon Campbell two. He's gonna be pushing hard all the way to the end. Again, we are about to round out power hour for the 2018 Nitto King of the Hammers, powered by Optima Batteries. And it's getting tough out there on course now as the sun going down, the shadows being created on side of the course. 73 mile an hour through the ARB full display speed trap. And he's pushing on hard. I believe Shannon has that 40, uh, 40 spline ARB in his car as we speak, so it's cool to see him uh, really throwing it down for those guys. And look how fast he's in that desert, just absolutely sailing through there. His car control is second to none as he makes his way around the bottom of the mountain, heading up towards the Jeep Arch, our final car in qualifying today. What can he do? All right, well, Shannon Campbell's coming through the Jeep Arch as we speak, heading into Hammertown, absolutely launching down that rock section. He's going to have a blistering speed. This is going to be a top five, top ten for sure. Looks like unofficially Shannon Campbell with a 15013. Unofficially, fifth place, Shannon Campbell, our current king of the hammers. Fantastic stuff here in Hammertown. Absolutely unbelievable power hour. Action, action, action all the way.